my fucking god, time for a new vlog, how are we doing today guys? Today I am extremely tired, and it's actually fairly late, actually not really, it's more like 6 in the evening, but it feels like fucking 3 in the morning, I really don't know why, it just kinda does, oh well, anyways, uploaded a new video to my main channel, it is my Vesta PKing video number 3? Yes, number three. Should be number three. Fucking holy shit balls. Kind of really tired right now. Kendra, yes, it is vid number fucking three. Not to mention, in a couple days, do you motherfuckers know what day it is? Yes, 4th of July. The day that you get to fuck a lot of shit up. Well, not in my state because fireworks are kind of banned. Kind of sucks. Yeah, okay, well, the fireworks in my state aren't, you know, they're legal, are shitty sparklers. Well, if you, you know, tie a whole bunch of them together, you can actually make a sparkler bomb. And the little gay-ass fucking fountains that are not really fireworks. They just make loud noises and, well, shoot sparks into the air. Yes, I know, my state is fucking retarded. Kind of wish I could go down south, and I might actually be going down south to a friend's house. He lives in uh, North Carolina. So, uh, down there, a lot of fireworks are legal, the ones that go boom, boom. So, yeah, but anyways, like I said, made a new wild Peking video on my main channel. Basically, uh, us continuing to fuck up shit with the Vesta Longsword. Once again, my Vesta Longsword is sitting in my bank. I need to use it, because god damn it, it won't fucking disappear if it's just sitting there. Not to mention I can't sell it. Oh well. Otherwise, I'm already getting some uh, PMs from you guys. I actually got a lot of PMs from you guys when I uploaded uh, number two of the uh, video montaginess series and stuff. Basie asking me, is a Vesta Longsword really worth it? Yes, in my personal opinion, I do believe that a Vesta Longsword is fucking worth the goddamn money. Um, reason being is because fucking, one, it can spec really, 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 really goddamn fucking high. Uh, not to mention, well, okay, the spec on a Vesta Longsword isn't really that fucking powerful, um, it's more so the fact that it's a four spec weapon, so you can whip out a 500, a fucking, you know, like 300, 400, and then another 500, and basically someone is going to die, that's why it's really, really deadly. Is because it's kind of like you fighting a DDS, if you think about it. Um, but you're going to most likely lose. Now, if an AGS, my max hit in the wild, I think it was like fucking 688 or some shit like that. It was fairly goddamn high. Um, but an AGS really isn't as accurate because Jagex kind of neutered an AGS. What that means is they kind of depowered it. When AGSs first came out, it would always fucking hit high. But they kind of tweaked it, just like they tweaked Dragon Claws in a way. If you guys watched my old PvP videos, every D-Claw Rusher would fucking rape my bunghole. Now, D-Claw Rushers, well, they still kind of rape me, but they have somewhat of a hard time. Thank you, Jagex, but then again, no thank you, because then I kind of suck using Dragon Claws. Anyways, is Vesta Longsword really worth the money? It could be. I mean, you see, a Vesta weapon is really designed for you to make money back. But you're really only supposed to use it as a spec weapon. But me, personally, I just want to get rid of the motherfucking thing because I need bank space, goddammit. My bank is really becoming a clustered fuck right now. So, therefore, yeah. Um, I could very well deposit all my skill capes into my house. Only problem is that I have two of each skill cape, so I would have to make that, you know, another bedroom to fit another thing in there. And plus, every single time I want to change skill capes, I don't want to go back and forth to my fucking house. It's just, it's kind of retarded, and, you know, it's meaningless, I think it is. Um, so basically, that's why. Uh, but yeah, just kind of really want this vest and longsword to go bye-bye and shit. But damn it, it won't go fucking bye-bye. But is it really powerful? I mean, like I said, AGS hits really, really high. Uh, Vesta Longsword really isn't designed to hit really, really high. It's just really, really accurate. Not to mention you can hit like a 400, 300, 500, 400. And then you're basically dead. 
So is Vest Long Story really worth the money? I think it is. Uh, some people beg to differ. Um, I remember when Vest and Long Story used to be like fucking 18 mil. Now they're, I haven't checked the GE price. I know I paid like 54, 55, 54 mil for mine. So I think they're still around the 50s mils and shit like that. But they used to be 18 mil. And a lot of people said that when they were 18 mil, they were actually worth the money. Uh, now that they're, you know, obviously fucking like 50 mil, it's a little harder for you to actually make your money back. Or for you to even break even, rather. 18 mil of a Vesta weapon, that's actually kind of reasonable. 50 mil, you would have to PK a lot of shit in high risk world in this world. Or, just get really fucking lucky and have someone not protect an AGS. So, yeah. But, otherwise, guys, that's uh, pretty much about it. Like I said, uh, just, you know, if you guys want to see that PK video, it's on my main channel. Uh, otherwise, kind of in the days right now, probably going to, uh, render this video, upload it, then, uh, take a little nap. But the bad thing about taking a fucking nap is if you take a nap, like right now it's like around 6 o'clock, then if I sleep to like 10, then I'll be up all fucking night, and that fucks up my entire goddamn sleeping schedule. So, right now I have to walk around my house, bitch slapping myself to wake myself up, and that's pretty much about it. But otherwise, before I walk around my house bitch slapping myself, I want to go to my email address and read off some happy hoop hoop questions from me and motherfuckers. Ask that much happy dot com and I to me. You hoops. Otherwise, well, you will become extremely fucking tired for no goddamn reason. First hoop hoop question. Hey, Nightmare, my RuneScape username is so geeky. And I was just wondering if you know or think that an Amulet of Fury price will ever decrease to what it used to be. Uh, 5.6 mil, in parentheses, in parentheses. Do you believe it will ever go down in price because I just bought one and I don't want to lose money on it? Question mark. Um, I really don't think it will go down in price ever. Probably below, like, 15 mil. If the item crashes, it crashes. It's one of those items that will probably go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Kind of like Bandos and shit. Um, but will it go back to being, like, 5 mil? Unless Jagex really fucking changes something, then, I mean, the, the reason why, I and I forgot the reason why the item is now, like, 15 mil, because I paid, like, fucking 4 mil for mine. They did something with the Onyx and shit. I think they made it, like, harder for you to get an Onyx or so. I, I don't know what they did. They did something, but if an item rises to, to, uh, to like, a number like that, it's because Jagex did something. Fucking Ring of Wealths are, what, like, fucking 60k now or some bullshit like that? It's, Ring of Wealths are pretty goddamn expensive. I think they're either, like, 40, 50, or 60k. I, I, I remember when they used to be, like, what, like, 2, 3k or some shit like that? So, Jagex does something to make the prices increase. So, if the price, so if the item were to drop to, like, 5 mil, it would mean Jagex kind of fucks something up. Oh, well. Next question. Hey, Chris, I just had a question. Do you ever plan on getting a RuneScape tattoo? Question mark. Uh, no. You know, I mean, all the tattoos on my body really have a symbol or it symbolizes something, you know, about me or just something that, that I like. Yes, RuneScape is my favorite game to play, but I, I just, I, I don't want a RuneScape tattoo. You know, I mean, it's just, it's one of those things that I just, I kind of really don't. So, therefore, yeah. But otherwise, guys, if you got anything for me, you can leave it in a nasty, dirty little comment. Make sure to check out my uh, main channel's Wild PK video. Otherwise, I'm going to walk around my house and bitch slap myself to wake up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.